Okay, good, thank you. Whatever you ask for, Craig. Hello, where do you feel that one went wrong tonight? Oh, look, it's, uh, it's been a reasonably good first half. Uh, unfortunately, we, we didn't react properly after scoring a goal. We allowed them to score a goal in 10, 15, 20 seconds after, after the restart. Just fell asleep. Um, and then I think second half, we were second best. We didn't compete. We, we were not aggressive. And uh, maybe we got a little bit better towards the end and we created a few chances, but I think they, Sydney FC deserved to win today. Arada, you mentioned um, you weren't sort of, you said we were second best in the second half. Is that down to, you know, lack of urgency? Is it Paddy leaving? What, what do you put it down to? Is it the break, you know, being sort of rusty after the break? Uh, I, I don't know exactly what reason you know what is the right reason for it, but uh, it was very obvious. You know, there was we, we would lose the ball, and then we could not win the ball back. Although we were in day half, the, they managed to play uh, balls to the side. We were not able to press. We were not able to stop them to switch the play. They were switching the play whole night, and, and that's basically the only play that they had. Switch to penetrate. Um, and uh, we just didn't deal with that properly. We were not aggressive around the ball in wide area. Um, and uh, after that, you know, you just need to keep dropping back and they move into our front third, or sorry, our back third, their front third. I thought we were defending reasonably well in, uh, in, in our back third when, uh, when we were under pressure. Um, there were a few scary moments, but uh, I think most of the time we dealt really well. Uh, our structure was good, our, um, our lines were good, but yeah, one mistake from a goal kick and one mistake from free kick, unfortunately, undone us. Yep. Is, um, is Marco Tilio doing something wrong? Is he doing something wrong in training? Is he not competing as hard as the other guys? Or what, what does he need to do to get into the, 11, the starting 11? Look, he was fantastic. Uh, we had uh, three players that came back from the World Cup and, and all three um, had a different World Cup. One played every almost every minute. So, you know, we would love to be able to keep him all 90 yeah. minutes. Uh, Marco didn't play at all, hardly train, because all they do is, uh, is minus one, yeah. recovery, plus one, game. So you haven't got time to, to practice. Um, and then obviously Jamie, who was who played a little bit, who was fresher, um, and uh, you know, so he could play 90 minutes. It was there was a, just a decision on uh, uh, what to do, what is the best to do with, with those three players, and uh, you know, they were not there with us last three weeks. Obviously, we worked on a lot of stuff, and they were not there. So to play all three of them, it was a little bit risky, uh, but yeah. Marco did fantastically well when he comes when, when he came on, and uh, um, you know he's in, in probably going to start on the weekend. Melbourne Derby next week. How will you prepare for that, and what are the main areas you'll try and improve on? Oh, look, we're going to analyze tonight's game, and uh, we're going to see what we didn't do well. Uh, I'm going to obviously work on that, and then obviously Melbourne Melbourne victory is completely different proposition than with the Melbourne City. They got a different football style, so we need to prepare for that. But the mo most important thing is that uh, we improve our own game, and if, if we improve our own game, uh, then uh, you know then we can compete against anyone. So I think that is the main thing uh, that we're going to probably spend more time to work during the week. Any more questions, guys? Are you all good? Thank you. Thanks, man. Thank you, guys.